Welcome to the start of a brand new year. This is always a great time to think about the future and what will happen in the year or years to come. And it's really good to think about it because what you do now has a big effect on your future. It's almost like you can give your future self great gifts or you can take away good things from your future self. That might sound a little crazy, but we're gonna talk about investments so that you can make the most of your life. You can think about investment as giving something you have now with the hope of getting something better back later. Let's think about money for a moment. Whenever you use your money, you're either spending or investing. When you spend money, you'll get what you paid for, but you won't get any more value from the money you spent. Think of going to the store to buy food or candy or even a new TV. When you spend that money, the money is gone. But when you invest your money, you're using your money in a way where you expect and hope to get more money back than what you started with. If you're just spending money, in the future you won't have a lot. But if you're investing, you'll have more in the future. Let's imagine a pack of dogs and say there are four mom dogs and four dad dogs. And let's say we pair them up and each mom and dad have just one puppy. Even though they're spending time and energy to raise those puppies, in just four generations, there won't be enough dogs to have any more puppies. That's like spending, you have less and less. Saving is like when you have just as many puppies as adults. If each of the mom and dad dogs had two puppies, then in four generations, there would be eight dogs ready to have more puppies. And that's nice, but when you're investing, you're producing even more for the future. If every mom and dad dog had four puppies, then in four generations, there would be over 500 dogs. Maybe that's a silly comparison, but when animals multiply with exponential growth, it can be amazing. Take for instance the locust. They're a lot like grasshoppers. A lot of the time they live alone and don't cause many problems. Scientists have used them in studying anti-collision models, a source for sustainable proteins, and detecting different odors. But sometimes, when all the right things happen, something triggers them to gather into swarms and start having a lot of babies really quickly. These swarms can stretch for miles and contain billions of individual locusts. Each locust can eat its own weight in food every day. They consume all the plants they come across and they can travel hundreds of miles and even cross over oceans. They've been known for thousands of years for their ability to cause devastating famines and plagues. Another example is the cane toad. They were introduced to Australia in 1935 to get rid of beetles that were destroying their sugar cane but they increased in numbers so much that they cause problems that still exist today. They can lay thousands of eggs at a time and there are no predators that are able to eat the toads because they produce a toxin in their skins. So the number of cane toads grew and grew and grew. And they don't just eat sugar cane beetles, they eat all sorts of things. Insects, birds, fish, lizards, rodents, anything they can get their mouth on. So not only did they increase, but a lot of other animals started disappearing. And this has also happened with chickens in Hawaii, the Asian carp in the Great Lakes, and brown tree snakes of Guam. All these are examples of problems when things grow rapidly, but you can invest your time, money, and energy into growing and producing more good things in your life. The 100 hour rule says that if you invest 100 hours on something in one year, which is just about 18 minutes a day, then you'll be better than 95% of the world in that area. If you wanna be a great athlete, you'll need to invest a lot of time and energy training. If you wanna have more money to buy things like cars or houses, then you'll need to invest your time, energy, and money. And the sooner the better. It's a good idea to think about what you want in the future so that you can invest in what's important now. But not everything that we can grow is worth investing in because every one of us has only a certain amount of time. James 4 says, how do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It's here a little while, then it's gone. One day you'll see that even if you live up to 100, life is really short. Living your life to get more money or become more popular or get more followers and subscribers always ends up feeling empty and sad. Some people invest a lot of time to make a lot of money or be really fit, but in the end, that isn't enough. The Bible says, so teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. This doesn't mean that we need to know how many days we'll be alive. It means that we should think carefully about what we do with our life because once it's done, we can't get more days. 
Jesus said life is more than food and the body is more than clothes. And in Matthew 6, he says, don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. So what will you invest your life in? Will the time you have be spent on things that don't really matter or invested in things that do matter? We already know that life isn't about money or fame or what we look like. God's wisdom says, don't think about what you can get and will lose here on earth. Think about what you can invest in that will last forever in eternity. In the Bible, we see that Jesus had a great relationship with God the Father, and he lived his life on earth to help other people have a great relationship with God too. When you invest your time, energy, or money in getting to know God, it's the best investment you can make. And when you invest in studying hard and learning new skills or earning money or building a godly reputation, not for yourself, but so that you can help others to know God, then you're investing in what will last forever. Start with whatever small amount you have. Jesus said, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. Don't spend your life on yourself. Invest everything you can to know God and help others to know God. There's no better way to live. I'm cheering you on this year as you keep fueling yourself with God's love and truth.